Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to be working with Darkroom Booth for iPad. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a QR code that takes them directly to their event gallery. Uh, gallery, And that way they can scan the, iP uh, the iPad QR code either right before the, their session or right after. And then after the session completes, their image will be uh, instantly available on their gallery. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up our uh, darkroom booth for iPad to post to event gallery and I've already done that so I'm going to take a single image just so it uploads to event gallery and this is where we're going to jump into the computer go into Photoshop build a, a track screen as a JPEG and then I'll also show you one other option that works out well as well so let's jump into my computer Okay, now, so we're jumping onto the desktop, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a browser, and we're gonna go to our event gallery page and uh, select the gallery that we just uploaded, and we wanna grab this URL right here, and we're gonna copy it, and then you can go to your favorite QR code generator, and it's important that if you use a, a, a online generator that you don't use a dynamic code because then that code will, um, could be tied to an account. So you just want to use a free generator and make sure that it's not dynamic. So um, we'll go ahead and create that code and save it as a PNG. And now we're gonna head into Photoshop and I already have a graphic already laid out. And the resolution I'm using, and it seems to work out pretty well, is uh, I believe 1100 by 1600 yeah and and vertical so what we're gonna do is grab this code drop it into our document make it just a little bit smaller and then uh, we'll go ahead and save it oops place that first and then save it as a JPEG And we'll go uh, to the iPad demo folder. Looks like I already have a folder created. So that's save in there. Next thing that we're gonna wanna do is now take this JPEG with this QR code and we're gonna send it over to our iPad via email. So let me open up my email client. new mail and let's see on my desktop I should have an iPad demo and we'll attach it right there iPad start screen and send it so now we're gonna jump back over to the iPad and let me go ahead and start screen recording here so you can see how this works. Okay, so go to my mail. There's my file and I'm going to save to files. And that's a good location right there. So now I can switch into darkroom booth for iPad click edit next attracts uh, enable attract screen and then files it's in this folder right here and there it is so now when we start the booth we can now scan that QR code. It looks like it might be a little bit squished. I might have to check on that, uh, the resolution setting. We should be able to use our phone, tap on that and see the gallery. So now when we start the session, we'll do one in black and white. Click done. And now on my phone, if I refresh, there's the image. One more thing I want to show you. Let's go back into our settings.
you can also, if you uh, have um, video editing skills, you can use a video as well. And here's an example. So now it'll go back and forth between the QR code and uh, saying you can scan the QR code or you can tap the screen to start. So a uh, cute little idea I thought I'd share. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.